On today's episode, Google Stadia has announced their February lineup of free video games, Kaze and the Wild Mask finally has a release date, and IO Interactive has revealed brand new details about their upcoming James Bond video game. All of this and much, much more on today's episode of The Nerf Report. Are you listening? Welcome back to the Nerf Report. My name is Bryant. Today is Tuesday, January 26th. And here are today's top stories from the world of gaming. Google Stadia has announced the Stadia Pro lineup for February. This February, Pro subscribers will be getting Journey to the Savage Planet, Employee of the Month Edition, Laura Croft and the Guardian of Light, and Enter the Gungeon. Speaking of Google Stadia, Phoenix Point, Gods Will Fall, and Tohu will all be launching for Stadia this week. IO Interactive has revealed new details about their upcoming James Bond video game. The game will not be based on any previous James Bond actor, and it will feature an original story. And on top of all of that, IO Interactive currently has 200 plus developers working on the game. Kaze and the Wild Masks will be launching on March 26th for the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, and Google Stadia. The next Animal Crossing update will be on January 28th, and will celebrate the fest of all. The free update will include the arrival of Pave the Dancer and a new Feather collection in-game event. Parsec announced a new partnership with Plex today to reveal a new service called Plex Arcade. This new cloud gaming service is offering a free trial for seven days and after that it's three dollars per month for existing Plex subscribers and five dollars per month for non-subscribers. Kevin Hart and Kate Blanchett have officially joined the upcoming Borderlands movie. Sea of Thieves dropped a new trailer showcasing the game's new seasonal content. The Lord of the Rings Gollum video game has been delayed until 2022. Warner Brother Games has confirmed that Gotham Knight is still on track to release this year, and the company has no delays in sight. According to Stadia source, Killer Queen Black has been raided for Google Stadia. Also today, Apex Legends dropped one of the best launch trailers that I have ever seen for the upcoming Season 8 of content. And finally for today, Microsoft revealed during their Q2 earnings call that Xbox Game Pass now has 18 million subscribers, along with the company's game revenue being up by $5 billion year over year. Let that sink in. The Bethesda acquisition cost $7.5 billion, and in one quarter, Microsoft made up for that purchase. Well, that wraps up today's top headlines from the world of gaming. If you want more daily gaming news in your life, make sure to support our channel by subscribing to the Nerf Report right here on YouTube. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content just like it, which who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you want to see your name there? I know I do.